Hi guys, Steady Eddie here, this time wandering through the streets of Phnom Penh. Now, the question of this video, is Cambodia as good as it was? Now, the reason I'm asking this question is because it's been about 15 years since I first came here. And when I first came here, I loved this place. And after that, I came here many, many times. I loved it so much. But that was 15 years ago, and I'm also 15 years older. So, how does this place compare to the Cambodia that I fell in love with 15 years ago? Well, of course, a lot has happened in the last 15 years. You know, places change. But let me just tell you the reason I'm asking this question. A few years ago, I did a video about finding ladies in Siam Ri. And basically, what I said was, uh, for finding ladies in Siam Ri, which is a very nice town, it's not as good as it was. And somebody posted a comment on that video, and it was I thought it was quite an intelligent comment. And this guy commented on my video, Ed, you say Siam Reap is not as good as it was. But think about it. Is anything ever as good as it was? I thought that was quite an intelligent comment. What he meant was that after you've been to a place so many times, you know, the kind of shine wears off it. Just let me tell you that 15 years ago, I'd already been to Vietnam, Thailand many times, Philippines, various other countries, many other countries in fact. But Cambodia was the last little Southeast Asian country uh, for me to visit that I really, really wanted to see. Hello? Hello, hello, how are you? See, he's a charming chappy, isn't he? Friendly chappy. So yeah, I visited all of those countries before I came to Cambodia. Now I'd heard mixed reviews about Cambodia. Some people said it's it's okay. I even heard that it's more expensive than the other Southeast. I heard all kinds of bizarre things. But I thought, what the hell? I'm finally going to come here. So I visited Cambodia. I went to see Anukville first of all, which I wasn't too keen on to begin with, simply because it seemed to be full of blonde-haired, you know, yeah, you know, safer dudes, you know, that kind, that kind of thing. It's, you know, young backpackery types, and I, I didn't think that was really for me. I then came to Phnom Penh, which I did some negative reports about, and I just fell in love with the place, especially the riverside area, with all those lovely, lovely, lovely girls, and, and oh my God, oh yeah, I filled my boots all right. Met some lovely girls, and, oh, in, in, you know, the 136, 104 seat, all those kind of areas absolutely magnificent and I just come back again and again I was coming here on a regular basis and I met regular girls out here and I had a whale of a time I loved Phnom Penh it was one of those rare capital cities that I actually liked more than anywhere else in the country Usual, usually capital cities are the place to get away from but no I love this city absolutely loved it and Siam Reap a uh, nice town and, and Chinookville grew on me and then over the years I'd, I'd do a regular journey from Phnom Penh down to Chinookville which seemed to get better the more I went there all those ramshackle bars on the beach I love Cambodia, I absolutely, it actually became my favourite little country in this part of the world in Southeast Asia it really really did um, <clears throat> so things have happened since then, you've got the pandemic, you've got all kinds of other things have gone on Chinookville has gone down the Swanee River. It's no longer what it was. It's now a Chinese casino city by the sea. So the question is, is Cambodia as good as it was? Well, <clears throat> this here is the first time in four years that I've visited this, this little country. And I, I can only say the changes. Siam Reap is a very, very, very nice town. And uh, I, I liked the place. I even enjoyed my recent visit, except for the bit where it was uh, followed back to the hotel by a lady boy, except for that bit. Um, but apart from that, Siam Reap is a very fine town, great prices, accommodation, food, drink, that's still great value. So, providing you don't go there 
expecting, you know, Pattaya style girly bar scene, then you will find Siam Reap is a very, very good town. Phnom Penh, where I am now, now I've already done report on Phnom Penh. It's strange, really, what's happened. There's still lots of lovely ladies in the bars, but there's not many customers, and they're commanding a high price. Now, I've already discussed this on another video. You make sense of that one. So many beautiful girls in, in those bars, but, well, I don't know. I've said what I've said. I've said it in another video, and you can make sense out of that one. Um, <laughs> you've got to have deep pockets. If you want to have fun with the ladies here, uh, on a regular basis, you've got to have deep pockets. It's it's not for the backpackers uh, or a budget travellers uh, 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 budgets at all. Chinook Phil, what I've said, has gone down the Swanee River. There is one place which has really, really become a, uh, you know, the place to be in Cambodia. It's Kampot, and that's where it was recently. And in Kampot, that is a fine little town. It's a bit, you know, a bit scruffy, you know, a bit. A bit garbage in the streets you know you're sitting in a restaurant and then a bloody big rat runs across the floor you know that's that's dead well that's what happens here you gotta, you gotta accept that uh yeah you know they don't have the hygiene uh, that we have in, uh, in other in other countries but i found campo to be really quite a lot going for it a lot of bars restaurants and i will honestly 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 say this the expats uh, that i met British, Australian, whatever. The expats that I met in Campot are quite simply the most positive group of expats that I've ever met. I, I spoke to a lot of them and these guys, a lot of these guys have moved from places like Vietnam because Vietnam's become really, really awkward with the visa. Uh, and you know, you can't stay there for very long now. So they found they've got to move somewhere. And a lot of these expats have chosen Campot because it's great value. There's a nightlife scene there, lots of restaurants, and it really, really is a town where just about everyone seems happy. It seems like a, the expats, you know, the ones that I spoke to, seem to think that they made a very, very wise decision moving there. So Campot is, if you're coming to Cam, uh, Cambodia, give Campot a try. Give Campot a try. It's, it's a, and I enjoyed my stay there. I was only there for a week, very laid back, relaxed week. Really, I wish I'd have done a bit longer than that because uh, it's worth a visit. So this comes back to the, to the question, is Cambodia as good as it was? Well, like I say, I love this uh, country for so many years, but things are changing now. It just, you know, things change in old countries. Old countries become a bit more expensive. The infrastructure changes. A certain town as a whole overall and, and the charm goes out of it. Cambodia is now a country without a main beach resort anymore. They've still got the islands, but it doesn't have a main beach resort anymore. I used to love that journey from Phnom Penh down to Chinookville. You know, the grimy city, and then you go down to Chinookville on the minibus, and, you know, on the bus, all of a sudden the scenery changes, and you, you know, you start seeing a different, more pleasant landscape, and I used to love that. It's no more. I'm not even visiting Chinookville on this journey because I've seen enough evidence. I've seen it when, when they were throwing the buildings up, uh, the skyscrapers, and there. Uh, yeah, you know, I think it would. I don't think anyone really wants to see a video of me going to Chinookville and moaning and whinging and complaining and being depressed and talking about how good the old Chinookville was. Do you really want to see a video like that? No, I'll give that one a miss. So anyway, I looked out of the window of uh, my hotel uh, uh, today, I'm quite high up, and I've seen so many skyscrapers being thrown up here. The landscape of this place is definitely changing. So how can you answer the question like that? Is Cambodia as good as it was? It probably isn't for me. But don't forget, I've been here many times, and I remember how, how good the old Cambodia was 15 years ago. Not only that, but I'm 15 years older, so maybe I'm not as good as I was. There you go, there's, there's good old 104 Street. To me, that was the Beatles of the Gailey Bar Streets. 
There you go, I've had plenty of fun there over the years, but nothing's the same as what it was. So, anyway, let me just cut this waffle. Let me just say that if you personally have never ever been to Cambodia before, then give it a try. Go to Siam Reap, uh, give Phnom Penh a, a try. Uh, not, not to everyone's taste, a lot of people are put off by the garbage in the street. Give Kampot a try. It's, it, there's a lot to that riverside town and you may find it quite a pleasant experience. Chinookville, you know, I think you'd have to go to Chinookville to go to the islands. The islands of Koh Rong are still probably worth a visit. But overall, it's, the country doesn't seem to me to be as good as it was or as great value as it was. But if you've never been there before, then I'd still recommend that you visit this country. Still give it a visit. And one thing that is still as good as it was is the Cambodian people. You meet some great Cambodian characters here. They really are a good bunch of people. Uh, they've got more personality than in many, many other countries. And it's well worth a visit. So, anyway... I said my little piece about that. There you go, there's 104 Street. So we have a little, a last little look around 104 Street. Oscar's Bar there. That is, that is a terrific bar. It always was, a live band and all of that. Excellent. Great place, what, uh, Oscar's. But like I say, the Gailey Bar scene has changed. They, they're commanding much more money and uh, it does take a genius to figure who's paying them a lot more money I think it's a larger, bigger Asian country that has helped drive the prices up for the ladies here OK guys, I'm going to end this vlog here in 104 Street Make your own mind up if Cambodia is as good as it was, but I personally have had some great, great times here over the years, and I don't regret a thing, okay? So, this, is the, this was the Beatles of the Gailey Bar Street. It's a little bit played out. It's a little bit out of the way of 136 in the main action now, but it's still, I'm sure it's still worth a visit. Listen, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me waffle on. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.